delicate but delicious smoked haddock nestling in a creamy, almost porridge of curried cream, garnished with a hard-boiled egg and fresh parsley. The ultimate Victorian culinary decadence. Winston? Winston? Come back with that leg of lamb. One of the most popular breakfast dishes that I cook for the royal family, one of their favourites and mine too, is a dish called kedgeri. It's the ultimate comfort food dish that was brought over to the Victorians in the era of the, the Raj by the returning colonials, British colonials. Called kitchri or kitchdi, the original dish was made of beans and rice and lentils. And by the 19th century in the UK, it became a more sophisticated, classy dish for breakfast and brunch entertaining with the addition of smoked haddock and boiled eggs. I make kedgeri at home for my family on a Sunday as a, just a breakfast treat, but I always make it, now I'm here in the US, with salmon because I could never get smoked haddock until now. In the north of England, in Maine, famous for lobster, but it's also the home of Stonington Seafood, one of Maine's top award-winning smokehouses, and it's owned and run by Richard Penfold, where they smoke haddock the traditional way, the Scottish way. It's so authentic that Stonington even had a Scottish kiln, a Torrey kiln, shipped from Scotland just to smoke the haddock. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, Finn and Haddie, or smoked haddock, Finn and Haddie is just like its popular name in the UK. It's named after the Scottish town in Finden, where it originated from. And then Haddie is just a slang term for haddock. Scottish, right? Finn and Haddie. Finn and Haddie. <laughs> is that Scottish or Irish? <laughs> in the 1800s, fishwives hung lightly salted haddock in their chimneys just to be smoked gently over peat fires. Look at that gorgeous fish. That color on the outside. Stonington only used sustainable hook caught fish and the smoked haddock has to be firstly brined and then cold smoked and that creates the golden color on the fish. There's no sugar or additives, just fish, salt and wood smoke. For kedgeri, we have to poach the fish and when we're poaching, you can poach in water if you want to, but it's actually best to poach in milk. Milk has that fat in it and as it's poaching, the fat actually holds onto the, the flavors that are coming out of the fish, that smokiness that comes out of the fish. So lay the fish, something like this, this thick, about an inch thick. It's absolutely gorgeous and so fresh, and it just needs to poach for about eight to 10 minutes. So pop it in the pan, and then we're going to pour over some milk. and we need to cover the fish completely, even though it has a lid on. I'm also going to put a little cream in there as well. The opulence of this Victorian dish. The fish will poach in this liquid and then we'll take the fish out and flake that up once it's gone cold. The liquid will reduce down a little bit and then add the rice to it. This is gonna be amazing. We need to poach it until, once we press it, it just starts to flake. We don't want to overcook it. it. Just needs a little bit longer in there. Yes, I heard, I heard I was coming to that. Winston wants me to tell you that he's going fishing for his own fish. The smoked haddock's been simmering away for about 10 minutes now, and we can take it out, let it cool down, and then start flaking it. Oh, look at that. Smoked haddock has such a distinct flavor and taste to it, smell to it, that once you've tried it, you never forget that taste. You never forget that smell. 
and then save the poaching liquid because this we're going to reduce down. I'm going to add some more cream to it and then reduce that right down, add my rice to it. And then I've got some curry powder I'm going to put in there too and whisk into that. This will be amazing. Once the cream's reduced, and this has been reducing for about 10 minutes, and you have to keep an eye on it because it will boil over. So just keep giving it a stir. I'm gonna add a little curry powder in there. Not too much, because I don't want it to mask the flavor of the smoked haddock. Just enough for some color, and then a little salt too, and a little pepper. Whisk all those together. You see we've gone from the consistency of milk to that of heavy cream, and that's perfect. Oh, Winston. Looks like the fish are biting. Once the fish is cold, then you can start flaking it. So carefully, just pull off that skin and then break the fish into little flakes. Not too much, nice chunky pieces are just gorgeous in there. You can use shrimp in this if you want to in kedgeri. You can use scallops, but it just seems wrong to me. Kedgeri should be smoked haddock. And if you can't get smoked haddock, then salmon, not shrimp, not scallops. This smells so good. It's true about the distinct flavor. Once you've tried this, you'll always remember it. You'll always remember that flavor of smoked haddock. There's another recipe called Cullen Skink that uses smoked haddock. It's a smoked haddock soup. I'm gonna do a video of that soon as well. Now that I've found it, I'm gonna be using this a lot. You can actually cook the fish the day before. In fact, you can cook most of this the day before. I've got the rice I've already cooked. I've got the parsley, which I've chopped, and I've got some boiled eggs. All I'm gonna do with the eggs is just warm them up again, and they'll be perfect just for garnish on the top. Oh, Winston's gonna enjoy these with a little saucer of milk. <laughs> right, let's build the dish. You can see that cream and milk has reduced right down and the curry flavor's really taken uh, to that. But I can still smell the haddock in there too that came out of the fish while it was poaching. I'm gonna put my cooked rice in there now. Traditionally, white rice, if you want to, you can use brown rice in there. You can use cauliflower rice if you don't overcook it. Uh, you can use quinoa. Add some rice into there. This is just a gorgeous breakfast dish, or even for the family for brunch. And then mix all of this in together. If it starts to look a little too thick, we can add a little more cream. And then I'm gonna put some haddock in there too. Not all of it, I'm saving some for the top. And then we can just taste test. It's so good. Just mild, just a hint of curry. You can add as much curry into there as you want to, but don't overpower the smoked haddock. Here's a little more salt and some pepper. Stir it in. Don't over stir it because we don't want to mash up that fish. It's not pureed fish. It's biting into it with that creamy texture of the, the rice and then that flaky fish is just what makes it amazing. Now back onto the stove to warm it through and also to heat up the eggs. Absolutely perfect and fit for the royal breakfast table, right? Let's spoon this in there. First of all, a little more cream. I just want it all to run together. I told you it was opulence. Mmm, just a little more cream in there. And now we can pour this into the bowl. And remember I said save a little bit of fish for the top. We can take some of this and just lay it on the top there. We don't need to worry about it being cold because once we put the lid on and let it sit there, the heat from that kedgeri will just warm it through. Then I've got some eggs here. Oh, it looks like Winston's caught a fish. Though actually, I think the fish has caught Winston. <laughs> it smells amazing. It looks gorgeous and it just needs a little parsley to finish. Delicate but delicious smoked haddock nestling in a creamy, almost porridge of curried cream, garnished with a hard-boiled egg and fresh parsley. 
the ultimate Victorian culinary decadence. All we have to do now is taste it. I've been waiting all day for this. Imagine coming down to breakfast and having this on the table. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. That fish is amazing. I put a link to the Stonington seafood in the description so you can order some if you want. This is so good. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already subscribed, click on the button, leave a comment below, give me a thumbs up. Lots of great other videos coming up. I'll see you again soon. I bet you want some fish, don't you? I was talking to the fish.